What is a chipset, and how does it function in electronics? This video will be in series because we will discourse on various types of chipsets in electronics and how they function. A chipset is a set of integrated circuits, ICs, or chips that are designed to work together to perform specific functions within electronic devices, such as computers, smartphones, and other gadgets. Chipsets typically consist of multiple chips that are interconnected and work in tandem to provide various functionalities. The main functions of a chipset in electronics include Number 1 is control and coordination Number 2 is data processing Number 3 is peripheral connectivity Number 4 is power management And number 5 is system stability and performance Today our main focus is control and coordination Control and coordination are fundamental functions of a chipset in electronics. Here's a more detailed explanation of these functions. The central processing unit, CPU, is often considered the brain of a computer or electronic device, and it is a central component of chipsets in electronics. Here's a detailed explanation of the CPU's role and functions within a chipset. Instruction execution. The CPU is responsible for executing instructions which are a set of operations that manipulate data and control the flow of execution within the device. Instructions are fetched from memory, decoded, and executed by the CPU's control unit. Arithmetic and logic operations. The CPU's arithmetic logic unit, ALU, performs arithmetic operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and logic operations, such as AND, OR, and NOT, on data. These operations are fundamental for processing and manipulating numerical and logical data within the device. Control Unit The CPU's control unit manages the execution of instructions, coordinating the flow of data between different components within the device. It controls the operation of the CPU's other units, such as the ALU and registers, and ensures that instructions are executed in the correct sequence. Registers The CPU contains registers, which are small, high-speed memory locations used to store data temporarily during instruction execution. Registers hold operands for arithmetic and logic operations, intermediate results, and memory addresses for data access. Instruction Pipeline The CPU may employ an instruction pipeline, a technique that divides the execution of instructions into multiple stages, fetch, decode, execute, and write back, to improve throughput and efficiency. Pipelining allows multiple instructions to be processed simultaneously, overlapping execution stages to maximize CPU utilization. Cache memory. The CPU may include cache memory, which is a small, high-speed memory located close to the CPU cores. Cache memory stores frequently accessed data and instructions, reducing memory access latency and improving performance by providing faster access to critical data. Clock synchronization. The CPU operates synchronously with the system clock, which generates regular clock pulses to coordinate the timing of CPU operations. Clock signals ensure that different components within the CPU and chipset operate in synchronization, maintaining correct timing and coordination of system activities. Power management. The CPU may incorporate power management features to optimize energy usage and extend battery life in portable devices. These features include dynamic voltage and frequency scaling. DVFS, sleep modes, and power gating techniques to minimize power consumption during periods of low activity. Overall, the CPU is a critical component of chipsets and electronics, responsible for executing instructions, performing arithmetic and logic operations, managing data flow, and coordinating system activities. Its performance directly impacts the overall functionality, responsiveness, and efficiency of electronic devices. Instruction fetch and decode are essential stages in the execution of instructions by the central processing unit, CPU. Here's an explanation of these stages and their significance within the CPU's operation. Instruction fetch. In this stage, the CPU retrieves the next instruction to be executed from memory. The instruction pointer, a special register within the CPU, holds the address of the next instruction in memory. The CPU fetches the instruction located at this address and loads it into an instruction register. Significance Instruction fetch ensures that the CPU knows which instruction to execute next. By fetching instructions sequentially from memory, the CPU can execute program code stored in memory in the correct order. Instruction decode Once the instruction is fetched, 
the CPU decodes it to determine the operation to be performed and the operands involved. The opcode, operation code, portion of the instruction specifies the operation to be executed, while additional fields may specify operand addresses or immediate data. Significance Instruction decode translates the binary instruction code into signals and control signals that the CPU can understand and execute. It identifies the type of operation to be performed, e.g., arithmetic, logic, data transfer, and the operands involved, preparing the CPU to execute the instruction in the next stage. Together, instruction fetch and decode form the initial stages of the CPU's instruction execution cycle. These stages ensure that the CPU fetches the correct instructions from memory and prepares them for execution by decoding their operation and operands. Once the instruction is fetched and decoded, the CPU proceeds to execute it, performing the specified operation and updating the processor state accordingly. Efficient instruction fetch and decode mechanisms are crucial for CPU performance as they directly impact the CPU's ability to execute instructions quickly and efficiently. Processors may employ various techniques, such as prefetching, branch prediction, and instruction decoding pipelines, to optimize instruction fetch and decode performance and improve overall CPU efficiency. Clock synchronization is a critical aspect of the operation of electronic devices, particularly within the context of chipsets and CPUs. Here's an explanation of clock synchronization and its importance. Definition Clock synchronization refers to the process of coordinating the timing signals, known as clock signals, across various components within a device or system. These clock signals provide a regular, rhythmic pulse that regulates the timing of operations and ensures that different components work together in synchrony. Central Processing Unit CPU In the context of a CPU, clock synchronization ensures that different parts of the processor, such as the arithmetic logic unit, ALU, control unit, and registers operate at the same pace. The CPU's internal clock signal, generated by a dedicated oscillator circuit, dictates the timing of instruction execution and data processing. Chipsets and peripheral devices, clock synchronization extends beyond the CPU to include other components within the chipset and peripheral devices. For example, memory controllers, I.O. interfaces, and graphics processing units, GPUs, may also rely on synchronized clock signals to coordinate their operations effectively. System Clock Many electronic devices have a system clock, which serves as the master timing reference for the entire system. The system clock generates periodic clock pulses that are distributed to different components within the device via clock distribution networks. These clock signals ensure that all components operate in harmony and adhere to the same timing constraints. Clock Distribution Chipsets include mechanisms for distributing clock signals to various components within the device, such as phase lock loops, PLLs, clock buffers, and clock distribution networks. These components ensure that clock signals propagate with minimal skew and jitter, maintaining accurate timing across the system. Clock synchronization protocols. In some cases, devices may implement specific clock synchronization protocols or standards to ensure precise timing synchronization. For example, Protocols like IEEE 1588, Precision Time Protocol, and Network Time Protocol, NTP, are used for synchronizing clocks across network devices, while protocols like I2C and SPI facilitate communication and synchronization between integrated circuits. Importance Clock synchronization is crucial for ensuring the reliable operation and performance of electronic devices. It allows components to exchange data and signals at the correct times prevents timing-related errors and glitches, and enables efficient parallel processing and multitasking. Without proper clock synchronization, devices may experience timing conflicts, data corruption, or system instability. Overall, clock synchronization is a fundamental aspect of chipset and CPU design, ensuring that electronic devices operate reliably and efficiently by coordinating the timing of operations across different components. Efficient clock synchronization mechanisms are essential for achieving optimal performance and functionality in modern electronic systems. Memory management is a crucial aspect of chipsets and electronic devices, involving the allocation, organization, and utilization of memory resources. Here's a detailed explanation of memory management and its importance. Memory hierarchy. Chipsets manage various types of memory within electronic devices, including cache memory, main memory, RAM, 
and secondary storage, e.g., hard disk drives, solid-state drives. These memory types form a hierarchy based on access speed, capacity, and cost, with cache memory being the fastest but smallest and secondary storage being the slowest but largest. Memory controllers. Chipsets include memory controllers responsible for managing the flow of data between the CPU and different memory modules. Memory controllers coordinate read and write operations, handle memory access requests from the CPU, and ensure data integrity and consistency. Address translation. Chipsets utilize memory management units, MMUs, to translate virtual memory addresses generated by the CPU into physical memory addresses. MMUs map virtual memory pages to physical memory locations, allowing the CPU to access memory transparently without knowledge of the underlying physical memory layout. Memory allocation. Chipsets allocate memory dynamically to different processes and applications running on the device. They manage memory allocation requests, track available memory space, and assign memory segments to processes based on their requirements. Memory allocation strategies may include techniques such as paging, segmentation, or a combination of both. Memory protection. Chipsets implement memory protection mechanisms to prevent unauthorized access to memory regions and ensure data security. They enforce access control policies, restrict memory access permissions, and detect and handle memory access violations or errors. Cache management. Chipsets include cache memory to store frequently accessed data and instructions, improving CPU performance by reducing memory access latency. Cache management algorithms determine how data is stored, accessed, and evicted from the cache, optimizing cache utilization and performance. Virtual memory. Chipsets support virtual memory systems, allowing devices to address more memory than physically available by using a combination of RAM and secondary storage. Virtual memory enables efficient memory utilization, supports multitasking and memory sharing among processes, and provides memory protection and isolation. Memory coherence. In multi-core or multi-processor systems, chipsets ensure memory coherence to maintain data consistency across different processor cores or CPUs. They implement cache coherence protocols to synchronize cache data and ensure that all processors see a consistent view of memory. Overall, Memory management is essential for efficient and reliable operation of electronic devices. Chipsets play a crucial role in managing memory resources, coordinating data access, and ensuring optimal performance and system stability. Effective memory management contributes to improved responsiveness, multitasking capability, and overall user experience in electronic devices. Bus arbitration and communication are critical functions of chipsets in electronic devices, facilitating the exchange of data and control signals between different components via buses. Here's a detailed explanation of these functions. Bus architecture. Electronic devices utilize buses to enable communication between various components, such as the CPU, memory modules, input-output, I.O., devices, and peripherals. Buses consist of electrical conductors or traces that carry address, data, and control signals between components. Bus arbitration. In multi-master bus architectures, where multiple devices can initiate data transfers, bus arbitration is necessary to manage access to the bus and prevent conflicts. Chipsets include bus arbitration logic to determine which device has priority access to the bus when multiple devices request access simultaneously. Arbitration protocols. Chipsets implement arbitration protocols to resolve contention for bus access fairly and efficiently. Common arbitration protocols include round-robin, priority-based, and token-based schemes. These protocols allocate bus access based on predefined rules, priorities, or tokens, ensuring that each device has an opportunity to transmit data. Bus masters and slaves. Devices connected to a bus may operate as either bus masters, which can initiate data transfers, or bus slaves, which respond to requests from bus masters. Chipsets coordinate communication between bus masters and slaves, managing data transfer requests, responses, and acknowledgements. Bus control signals. Chipsets generate and interpret control signals that govern the operation of the bus, such as bus request, BR, bus grant, BG, bus acknowledge, BA, and bus busy, BB. These signals indicate when a device is requesting access to the bus, when access is granted, and when the bus is busy with ongoing transactions. Data transfer modes. 
chipsets support various data transfer modes on buses, including synchronous and asynchronous modes. In synchronous mode, data transfers occur at fixed intervals synchronized to a clock signal, while in asynchronous mode, data transfers occur independently of a clock signal. Error detection and correction. Chipsets incorporate error detection and correction mechanisms to ensure data integrity during bus communication. They may include parity checking, cyclic redundancy check, CRC, or error correcting code, ECC, to detect and correct transmission errors that may occur due to noise or interference. Bus bridges and controllers. Chipsets may include bus bridges or controllers to interface between different bus types or standards within the device. For example, a chipset may include a PCIe to USB bridge to connect PCIe-based devices to USB peripherals or a memory controller to interface between the CPU and memory modules. Overall, bus arbitration and communication functions enable efficient and reliable data exchange between components within electronic devices. Chipsets play a crucial role in managing bus access, controlling data transfer, and ensuring compatibility between different bus protocols, contributing to the overall performance and functionality of electronic systems. Interrupt handling is a crucial function of chipsets in electronic devices, enabling the CPU to respond promptly to external events or signals that require immediate attention. Here's an explanation of interrupt handling and its significance. Definition an interrupt is a signal generated by a hardware device or peripheral to alert the CPU of an event that requires its attention, such as the completion of a data transfer, the detection of an error condition, or the receipt of input from a user. Interrupt handling refers to the process of responding to interrupts by suspending the execution of the current program, servicing the interrupt request, and resuming normal program execution afterward. Interrupt request, IRQ, when a hardware device or peripheral generates an interrupt, it sends an interrupt request, IRQ, signal to the CPU via a dedicated interrupt line or channel. The chipset includes interrupt controllers responsible for prioritizing, routing, and managing IRQ signals from multiple devices. Interrupt vector. Each interrupt is associated with a unique interrupt vector, which is a numeric identifier that specifies the memory address of the interrupt service routine, ISR, responsible for handling the interrupt. When an interrupt occurs, the chipset uses the interrupt vector to locate the appropriate ISR in memory and transfer control to it. Interrupt service routine. ISR the ISR is a software routine executed by the CPU in response to an interrupt. It performs the necessary tasks to handle the interrupt, such as processing data, updating system state, acknowledging the interrupting device, and initiating any required actions or responses. Interrupt prioritization. Chipsets include interrupt controllers that prioritize interrupts based on their urgency or importance. They may assign different priority levels to interrupts, allowing critical interrupts to preempt lower priority interrupts and ensuring that time-sensitive tasks are serviced promptly. Interrupt nesting. Some chipsets support interrupt nesting, allowing the CPU to handle multiple interrupts simultaneously or in a hierarchical manner. Nested interrupts enable the CPU to respond to higher-priority interrupts while servicing lower-priority interrupts, ensuring that critical tasks are not delayed excessively. Interrupt masking. Chipsets provide mechanisms for temporarily disabling or masking interrupts to prevent them from being serviced during certain critical sections of code execution, such as during the execution of time-critical operations or when accessing shared resources. Interrupt latency. Chipsets strive to minimize interrupt latency, which is the time elapsed between the occurrence of an interrupt and the execution of its corresponding ISR. Low interrupt latency ensures that time-sensitive events are handled promptly, reducing system response times and improving overall performance. Overall, interrupt handling is essential for efficient and responsive operation of electronic devices. Chipsets play a crucial role in managing interrupt requests, routing them to the appropriate handlers, and ensuring timely response to critical events, contributing to the reliability and functionality of electronic systems.